Yeah, I just want to talk about stripping the outer insulation off cable. How important it is to use the right tool. And what can happen if you nick the copper conductor? So there's various different tools. Some people like to strip the outer sheath off with a knife. You get various different cutters, clippers, strippers with these little notches out for the size of the cable. This one has got American and British cable sizes, so you have to make sure you use the right notch. Another type with the um, notches in. He's got these ones, trying these ones out, see what I think of them. Again, um, they've got the notches in for the cable, so you can pull the cable through, not damage the inner core of the copper. You've got these automatic wire strippers, quite useful for taking the outer insulation off. And the good old trusty side snips. So what we've got here is a bit of copper conductor I've stripped off the outer insulation. This is 1.5 millimeter squared cable, so it's quite a fine conductor. We're going to see how quickly it snaps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen bends to make that snap. So I mean, there's a bit of strength in it. It's only very thin wire. So let's have a go at stripping it. We've got the side snips, which is what most electricians probably will use. And this is where you've got to be careful. You need to take good care that when you're stripping this cable off like this, you're not actually nicking, scoring the inner conductor, the copper. If you, if you, if even the slightest little scratch on that can really weaken the the strength of that copper. You know, it took about 16 times to bend it and snap it before when it was a nice clean piece of copper. But you run your fingers up and down it, you can feel little nicks in it, uh, and those nicks are quite a big weakness in the copper. And when you bend it, it'll snap quite quickly. So let's have a go. Let's. How quickly does this go? One, two, three, four. See how quickly that snapped there because I just pressed down a little bit too hard on my snips and just scored the end of it. Now we've got, we've got these cable strippers. Don't mind using these for stripping the outer insulation off, but I find them a bit random. It, it never quite goes, you never quite know how deep it's going to cut into the, into the insulation and therefore if it's going to cut into the, the copper as well. There you go, it's, it's quite nice for that. Um, the inner insulation hasn't been damaged. But I find once I try and do it to get the inner insulation off, sometimes it just digs in and you're never quite sure what you're going to get. The little down on it there to um, see how deep it cuts in. Um, but you can feel it sometimes, it just catches on the copper and it can make Quite, can take quite a big chunk out of it and you can feel it with your finger and that little that little ding that little mark on the copper it just weakens it let's have another go here see how weak it is one two three four five six seven eight nine that one about nine there so you can see it the, the, the strength of the copper conductor is seriously weak and have another go, say it again. And you were thinking, yeah, but you don't bend the copper conductor like that. You know, it's just in the wall, it's not going to get belt, bent. When you think though, when you, you know, you do move the copper conductor around quite a bit when you're actually terminating it. You're moving the socket around a bit, you push it into the socket, move around, twist it around a little bit, pull it back out again possibly. Then somebody might come along in the future, they want to change the socket plate or something. And it's, they can, there you go again, you see just how weak it is. This is just, you can see the little score there. A little tiny score just makes it as brittle as that. And this is a really thin conductor. So this is without it being damaged, you can see. It, you know, it, it, it's okay. It's where there's a little nick that the damage, the weakness comes. And it only takes the tiniest little scratch. You can try this yourself. Just get a bit of cable, just put a little nick in it, bend it a few times, and you see that it'll just snap. Kind of quite like using these, really, I think, at the end of the day, the little notches in. So, 
you know that you can not be damaging the the conductor but sometimes these can be tricky to use so you, you have to make sure you do use the right size hole because if you use a hole that's too small you're going to damage the conductor and so these do take a bit of getting used to um, there you go, that all feels quite nice there's no, there was no nicks in that I recall so here we go again, make sure you get the conductor in the right notch and using these can be troublesome, they take a bit of getting used to the cable has to go sometimes quite deep into the plies to get the right notch and that can be a bit tight if you're in a back box or something like that so I don't think there's any perfect tool for stripping cable it's just whichever method and whichever tool to use you have to take good care and be careful that you are not damaging the inner copper conductor so that, that was all coming off quite nice we'll have a test on this see if it's been scored or not I think recall it was all right I'll we'll have another piece, bit, bit more off. Another test. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. About twenty there, a bit more that time. I mean, like I said, this is not a scientific test. This is just uh, showing how you can damage the conductors by nicking them. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope that's been of some interest or use. Thanks, bye.